you know, this is Adam. And with us first time, salute and introduce yourself. And then we just start kind of ripping and going for it. Perfect. Awesome. All right, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Crate Talk. This is the daily show. I have with me, brand new, first time at the show. Alu. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Alu Moana, and I'm excited to be here. Hey now. <laughs> All right, so today we're going to talk about. Um, the point of this show is we're going to grab a bunch of articles that have kind of been in the I don't know the geek sphere mm -hmm. over the last couple weeks, and just try to play catch up and get you guys kind of in tune with what people are talking about out there. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, there are rumors that. Um, Thanos is going to end up killing Captain America in Infinity War. And uh, this I was going back to earlier about Chris Evans. He's kind of teeter-tottering on if he's going to stay with the you know Marvel Universe, if he's going to uh, go into directing, if he's going to keep acting. He's not really sure yeah. at this point, I think. So they're, they're in talks of who's going to replace him. And, and he hurt himself, too. Oh, you, oh he hurt, he hurt himself. He hurt himself. Uh, he messed up his shoulder Ooh. during the helicopter grab. I bet. <laughs> was, I was reading something that was like, this article maybe after the movie came out, mm -hmm. it was saying that like he like tore something or he, he damaged something Ooh. in his shoulder when he you know the building and the helicopter. Yeah, yeah. And it was still like it was still messed up. Yeah. It's, so it's it's strenuous playing a hero, but <laughs> he's not getting any younger. Yeah. I mean, he's, not, he's not an old man, yeah. but he's not going to get any younger. So yeah, and it's like. I, I mean, you know, if he decides to do that, maybe he'll surprise us and stay on for 10 more years, who knows. But um, they are in talks of, you know, who's going to, you know, potentially replace him as Captain America. So in the comics, currently, Falcon is Captain America yeah. now. Um, but Bucky was the first person to become the next Captain America. So there, there, there's two potential options that we have. Was he the first? I believe so, but okay. he was the first to, to take, over the, take yeah. over the the suit. After. So I know he did it like after after um like after Civil War, the comic books. The Civil comic War, mm -hmm. and you know, because comic ended differently than the movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I know he became it then. Yeah. So, oh yeah, I didn't know he was the first. Though. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's yeah, what's yeah. Up. yeah, and uh, I personally, I think they're gonna go with Bucky for just for for. Uh, like popularity reasons and for because Falcon he, he's had his his movie run but he hasn't been as fleshed out as, yeah. like, as Bucky has been and Bucky already has like tons of uh, fans and yeah. you know you don't really see many people talking about Falcon so. well I think I, I agree with you I agree with you on because like Bucky well Bucky's been there since the beginning mm -hmm. you know and he's he's been kind of more fleshed out yeah. on this joining arc with Steve you know, and I just, I just feel like he he would want it. Mm -hmm. You know, he would yeah. want it. You know, to make up for all the things he's done wrong. Mm -hmm. To like, if Steve dies, mm -hmm. they, you know, I need to honor Steve. Because Steve in Civil War, Steve mm -hmm. saved my life. Yeah. Steve risked everything to mm -hmm. believe in me. So I think on like that on that merit, you know, he would want to do it. Mm -hmm. And I feel like Falcon, even though they um they said like he kind of. He used Steve's fighting style and he used mm -hmm. his wings and I shield saw, and I noticed like that, that, yeah. That I still think that's just a matter of him taking mm -hmm. bits of, you mm -hmm. know, like he watches how Steve fights and mm -hmm. it works, yeah. so he uses that. But I feel like he is so much his own hero, mm -hmm. you know, and he's still flushing out mm -hmm. who Falcon is. I, I agree. That it's too early for him to stop being Falcon. Exactly. So, yeah. Yeah, I think just for even this markability purposes, I just, I feel like they're not going to, you know, put Falcon in that position quite yet. They're gonna, I feel, I feel like if, if it does happen, I think they're gonna use Bucky for sure. I think so too, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, speaking on like, I loved, like that was a big part of Civil War for me. Mm -hmm. Like I yeah. loved it, like them together. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, Falcon and Bucky, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Falcon and Bucky. And it's hilarious, cause I'm, oh my goodness. I am like not a huge Bucky fan. I just like, and everything that I dislike about him is not his fault, yeah. but I'm just like, oh my God, I just wanna, mm. <laughs> Stop it! You're ruining everything. <laughs> but to see that 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 them uh, play off of each other yeah. was really nice. Yeah, they were great. So I would love to see that. And, mm -hmm. then, and even so, with like a while back, um, Anthony Mackie talked about he wanted to see, he wants to do a, a Falcon movie. 
Okay. You know, he solo? wants to do yeah, like a, okay. like a Falcon. I mean, you know, MCU version of Solo, which oh, yeah, is yeah. like you mm-hmm. and like a few other people sprinkled mm-hmm. in there. And I think like that would be awesome. You know, I, I would love to see. You know, Steve is gone, whatever Steve, for whatever reason, mm-hmm. and you know, Falcon's doing his thing, and then Bucky goes with him, mm-hmm. and in and then kind of like we're on Falcon's mission, but Bucky's there. Okay. You know, Bucky's there helping out, and then maybe just sprinkle in like sprinkle in Hawkeye or sprinkle in like uh, Wanda, okay, something like yeah. that. Mm-hmm. But you know, I, I, I like to that. see them. I think they would like they bounce off well together. Yeah, I can see know? that. So. And yeah. I could also see Bucky becoming Cap and then Falcon, you know, becoming the sidekick to him. Mm-hmm. I don't know how that would work, per se, um, with, with you know, the power structure that's going on there. Yeah. But it would be funny to watch, like, Buddy Cop style. Yeah. Well, that's, that's what I like about those guys, too. Because it's like, yeah, it's not it's not so much, like, sidekick, I think. It's just, like, we're friends, mm-hmm. you know. And I do this thing, you do that thing, we just mm-hmm. do it together, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. And I, yeah, I like that. I did that. So what do you guys think? What do you think? Who would be a good Captain America if uh, Steve Rogers leaves or gets old <laughs> or dies? You think it would be Bucky? Bucky or Falcon? What do you think? I don't know. Let us know. In the comments below. They be below us. All right. Moving right along. Uh, the last thing we're going to talk about is Civil War leaving out Thanos. Mm. Again, if you haven't seen Civil War, Thanos is not mentioned in it. Uh, at all. He's not mentioned in it. There's no after credit scene with Thanos. There's no mention of the stones. There's nothing. Except except when Vision says, I don't know what this is. <laughs> you no, know, other than that, there's like this is not about Thanos and the mm-hmm. Stones. There's nothing to do with that at all. Mm-hmm. Um thoughts on that. <laughs> I I thought that was actually a good call because yeah. uh the writers um and the directors commented on this that they didn't want to bring in even hints of such a huge villain when they were kind of already focusing on this huge battle that they had. Like, imagine yeah. Civil War plus the threat of Thanos. It just would have been too much. So no, I think would, that would be it would be a, it would be an X Men movie. Yeah. <laughs> that's what that's what it would be. Yeah, it would be it would be Leech taking people's powers mm-hmm. while the Phoenix is there. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what it would be. Mm-hmm. So it's it's. The MCU is, they're, they're clever people over there. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And, and they know when yeah. to stop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're really good at, you know, this is too much. Mm-hmm. This is too much. It would have, yeah, it would have yeah. been too much. So, so yeah. That's, <laughs> that's what that was. Thanos is in it. Um, they left him out on purpose because there's no point for him to be in it. We're about to get a whole bunch of Thanos real soon. Oh, yeah. I mean, we're going to. It's gonna be like a good three years of Thanos, mm-hmm. and we're gonna get tired of it. Mm-hmm. We're gonna say, man, I remember back in the day when it was more variety, mm-hmm. and it wasn't just you know God events. And remember that? Mm-hmm. Ah, that was a good time. Mm-hmm. So, so yeah, that's it. That's the daily show for today. Um, let us know what you think. You have any comments about what we talked about? You know, do you think Thanos should have been in the movie? Do you think we should they should continue mentioning Thanos? You know, keeping us interested as if we're not. So. We're gonna have a good three years of a gigantic video game boss battle that is Thanos. Yeah. So. And you know what? Isn't there something in between that? Like, I, I, don't, I can't remember the slate right now I'm talking about, but isn't it like Infinity War Part 1? Mm-hmm. And then there's something else drop, and then Infinity War 2? Uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Is in between? Is... Let's see... Ooh. Okay, it goes 2018. Yes, yes, it is in between. Yes. Mm-hmm. So Ant-Man and the Wasp is 2018 and then you don't get Infinity War Part 2 until 2019. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. How is that going to work? I'm... So Ant-Man is all <laughs> doing his own thing. Ant-Man is uh, not part like, of Infinity War. Unless like maybe Part 1 takes place on Earth. Okay. And then Part 2 takes place in space. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then maybe that's how the Guardians get involved. Oh. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I look Marvel. At it. Yeah. You let us know something. That's crazy. <laughs> All right. So um. So yeah. Uh, that's been today's episode. Uh, let us know what you think down below. Um, Thanos. Should we keep hearing about him constantly, nonstop, or you know, as a break? Welcome. Um, Cap. Who'll be the next Cap? 
Who do you think? Who do you think? Maybe maybe Ant Man will be the next cat. Mm. You know, they had that moment together on screen. <laughs> maybe it'll be him. I don't know. Maybe Romanoff will be the next cat. Ooh. That'd be crazy. She's Russian. Ooh, that's wild. Um, so yeah, let us know what you think. Any questions, put them below. Any comments, put them below. Make sure to subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Great talk. <laughs>